So I thought I'd just add this bit in live. Um, we just watched the Red Bull BC1 Championships. And uh, just to say the level was incredible this year. Uh, I think we we got to say that we don't agree with a lot of the decisions. Like last year, um, I thought the final went quite clearly to the loser. Um, I thought Wing definitely lost the last round, but he was clearly winning the first two. And it seemed like the judges just judged based on the third round, which I've never really agreed is the best way to do it. Um, didn't really agree with some of the other decisions. Early on, there were a couple of question ones. Uh, not sure I 100% agree with Menno. Um, not sure I 100% agree with Thesis losing his battle. But, you know, it's it's tough to say. Like, um, one of the problems was that the recording was not all that great. Uh, what we saw online wasn't necessarily what the judges saw. I mean, the camera moved around a lot. There was a part in Shigeki's battle where it just cuts the crowd. And I don't even know what the hell happened there. So maybe, maybe we'll see a bit more clearly. Um, for the record, yeah... Um, yeah, for the record, I would have probably given that to Wing. Um, I think the judges saw the third round and they assumed that it was 1-1 going into the, the final round. But I thought Wing had pretty clearly won the first two, so... One of the things is a lot of judges will often judge uh, based on the progression of the rounds, like someone builds up to something. So sometimes they consider it's okay to lose the first round as long as you then build up something um, amazing on the later rounds. And I kind of thought that was how a lot of the judges were judging today. Like, if you actually look at it, Wing quite clearly won the first two because he thought, you know, it's a three-round battle and they've said quite clearly that whoever takes two rounds is, wins the overall battle. Um, whereas I think a lot of judges were like, oh, well, Menno built up. Uh, his first round wasn't all that good. His second round was a bit better. And then his third round was way, way better. Whereas Wing kind of went very good, very good, and then not such a good third round, and I think maybe the judges judged on that. But this comes up to the question of how do you judge? Like, it seemed like a lot of the judges were judging on very, very different judging systems. Um, some of the judges were clearly judging um, round for round for round, and some of the other judges were judging as, on the battle as a whole. Whereas from what I understand, the Red Bull had quite clearly said that it would be judged round for round, so... You know, I can't blame the the B boys for thinking that you know that was the way it was going to go down and and planning accordingly. I think a bit more transparency was needed because if you judge it round for round, it comes up with very different results to if you judge it as a flow of a battle in in its whole. So yeah, overall, yeah, not as good a Red Bull as we saw in previous years. Um, yeah. The level of b-boying was amazing, but um, as you can see, Red Bull BC1 is now going 100% unique beats, and that's, you know, um, you know, I, I thought the music was incredible, but um, you know, I prefer I prefer original music and break beats. I mean, one of the problems with this kind of music is it's is it's very easy to just count eight counts to this kind of music, and you know roughly what's going to come on. Um, I liked it a lot more when the DJ threw in some stuff that actually had breaks in it because it was a bit more unpredictable. Also, I think we needed a mixture of like real music and, uh, and you know, made for Red Bull BC1 music. So, you know, so overall, yeah, it, it was a pretty good Red Bull BC1. We've seen better ones, but uh, yeah, I think there's definitely something that they can build off and yeah, hopefully next year's we'll get a lot of these mistakes right and create an amazing Red Bull BC1. Yeah, overall, very good B Red Bull BC1, but yeah, I think going forward from here, they need to make the judging criteria a lot clearer. They need to make sure that uh, everyone knows if they're judging based on the whole battle or if they're judging round for round for round, because it creates, it changes the tactics a lot. So what do you think? Um, who won? Uh, do you agree with us that uh, Wing probably won the final? Hey, <laughs> it's cool if you do think, man. Let us know in the comments. Um, and were there any others that you disagreed with? I mean... And what do you think? Were, were the judges judging fairly? Um, or what could they have done to judge better?